Welcome to another episode of Not Too Deep. I'm your host, Grace Helbig, and guess who's here? It's me, Mitchell Davis. Oh, you sound so meek, and like, um, I want to protect you. I'm just doing my version of my voice I did in Cats. Oh, yeah. Guys, we're going back to basics. We're doing what we do pretty okay, which is rant. <laughs> yes, rant, rant, rant. Yeah, rant. <laughs> yeah, you have to say it like we're wrestlers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Today you were coming out here, we're going to rant at you. Hey. Rant at you. You are going gonna get infuriated with it by minute 30 <laughs> but we're gonna keep going <laughs> it's a really fun episode we touched on so many of the topics that you guys submitted and we learned a lot about each other as always yeah lots of sauces involved yeah and so just to bear with it the entire thing isn't about cats but it's gonna seem like from the beginning a lot of it is about cats it's just it's so nerve-wracking fuck that yeah i don't even want to think about it it gives me hives Okay, enjoy this episode of Not Too Deep. <laughs> My stomach hurts just thinking. I'm serious. It's not okay. Not, not too deep. Turn your great idea into a reality with Squarespace. They make it easier than ever to launch your passion project, whether you're showcasing your work or selling products of any kind. With beautiful templates and the ability to customize just about anything, you can easily make a beautiful website all by yourself. But if you do get stuck, Squarespace's 24-7 award-winning customer support is there to help. Head to squarespace.com slash grace for a free trial. And when you are ready to launch, use the offer code grace to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Rock and roll. Mitchell Davis is back in the building. Kicking it off. Checking his phone. Episode 500. <laughs> wow, we finally made it. We did it. We finally made it. I brought my son. You brought, is it gendered? No. What are yeah. you talking about? It's a bee. Yeah, it's a bee. It's just an insect. It's a bee with like overplucked eyebrows. That's the most curious thing to me about this Bumble Baby is that there's hardly any like defined facial features, but they drew on two pencil thin eyebrows above Ooh, its eyes. Yes, they did. And also those <laughs> those those bottom teeth are thick. Are thick. You can tell that this is a Jersey bee. <sighs> I got this at a thrift store in New Jersey. This is a baby with four teeth that eats full meals. <laughs> Yeah, it's a woodchuck, actually. Yeah. Into you want me to open baby. that beer with uh, my teeth for you? <laughs> yeah, it just says four <laughs> beer can openers for teeth. <laughs> Mitchell, thank you for being here. I love being here. I'm here all the time. I'm so excited. Can we say that you're moving? I am moving. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, yeah. Yeah, so Mitchell is moving back to Ohio. Yeah, yeah. I've been here for like four and a half years. <sighs> that's crazy. And I, I love putting caps on things around five. And yeah. And I just... My family was like, so what's next? What are you doing next after a uh, new form and all this? And I was just like, I don't know. I kind of just kind of just want to see what's next. And they were just, yeah. they were, that's when my family like slyly was like, you know, if you came back, you could save a little bit and travel. And I was like, that sounds fun. Yeah. That sounds I like a lot of fun. I think that's a great idea. I mean, LA is fine, but then it just wears you down. It breaks you down. And then you're like, what am I? I'm just floating around spending money that I don't have right now. Well, and I also realized that everything I do in LA is so far away from my apartment already. I'm just going to fly in and sleep on somebody's yeah. couch and do it and then just go home and save. Guess what? I have a couch. <laughs> don't worry. You you're hear, set. You hear that? I'm going to be on Grace's couch. Uh, my couch and Goose will be in... Uh, n another room. Goose will be my blanket. <laughs> there you go. Um, but Mitchell texted me the other day and he said, since we're doing like the last episode before I move out uh, to Ohio, not the last episode indefinitely, why don't we do like old school rants? Let's I just felt like it was right. It feels like the right time. I've been too positive for too long lately. I, and that's something that also I got to bring up. It's like on social, it's like you're going through a relationship. I yeah. get it. You're so happy. I'm in a good place. It's gross. fucking disgusting. I know. I, every time I like something, I'm just like, oh, God, I, Grace is ha so happy. Every time I post it, I'm like, oh, God, I guess I'm like satisfied with life right now. And I just, I, I, this is my third phone. I threw, I threw two <laughs> phones right out the window, like the mask. I was just like, gah. <laughs> And that's why you're actually moving is because you're getting <laughs> evicted from your apartment because you keep on throwing phones. Yeah, they, it's honestly, I'm on the fourth floor. It's not okay. It's not good. Gravity works. Okay, uh, uh, I got some Twitter rant topics. We got a lot of them. And then I went on uh, the gram and got a couple more um, outsourcing from different social media platforms just hey, to see what the hey, differences were. That's how you build a business. You outsource a little bit. There you go. You know, you work with, you collab with people. Yeah. You bring it all together. Bring it all together. And then you know what? What? You make a business. You make a business. That's how business works. You guys don't need to go to business school. You just graduated. You just got it. <laughs> okay, first one. 
the Cats movie trailer. This is a <laughs> hot pile of garbage. <laughs> okay. No, I understand. First of all, lots of people's time, energy, and talents go into making movies. Yes. I, with <laughs> all respect for how much time and energy and money it costs to make this movie, this is a fucking crazy yeah, ass you, trailer. You only said all that because of, you're like, but. <laughs> but that trailer's crazy, y'all. Um, there's something about it that just feels too furry for me. Horrifying. Uh, like. Uh, so <laughs> it's so scary. Like seeing all the images of James Corden. Uh, oh no! Yeah, uh, uh, and like some of the cats wearing uh, shoes and stuff. I, I, I what, what, what were we thinking? I what don't. were we thinking? <laughs> like who was like? You know what? I've got an idea. You know the Catwoman movie from like seven years ago that did horrible with Halle Berry? <laughs> where we just covered her in spandex, so it would be sexy. <laughs> well, what if we did that again, except we made them look like real fucking cats? Yeah. And gave them human faces. Ooh, it's a it's it's like they took the technology from Teletubbies with the baby in the sun. Yeah. And then they used it to put faces onto cats. It looks like a weird, you know, the younger filters and like the yeah. gender swapping filters. It's the face app. It's like the face app for cat filters, but it got stuck like halfway in between. Mm -hmm. And so they're half human, half cats. And it just makes my whole body ache. I, I, the fact that you brought it up, it's giving me gas. Like yeah. I'm getting gassy. Uh, it's just something about it just makes me feel so uncomfortable. The fact that their faces look so real. Yeah. Some of the cats look like cats way more than other cats. Yes. And uh, some of the cats are totally naked. Did not need to. Re was yeah. it Rebel who puts Rebel her hand Wilson. in a in a mousetrap that's too small? Yep. But she's <laughs> but she's a large cat. And they're at a dinner table. So size and then doesn't Taylor matter. Taylor Swift is there. And she's pouring catnip. Oh, that's funny. No, it's not. It's just. Cr I the so what happened? <laughs> who who watched this 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 last like I, run through and was like beautiful? I know. Well, okay. First of all, they're starting with cats, which in and of itself is a production that makes no fucking sense in the entire universe. Yeah. Um, I don't even know what universe it takes place in because like one cat goes to space at the end. Kimmy Schmidt makes a joke about it where he just walks up on stage and starts singing and goes, and then in the background, like in the back, the backstage area, yeah. he goes, you're part of cats now. <laughs> he goes, that is actually the secret of cats is you just walk on stage and <laughs> sing and you become one of the cats. And I was like, that seems right yeah. because I've tried to watch a few clips on YouTube uh -huh. and it's just like, yeah, no. what the fuck are these cats doing? I have no idea. I have no idea. The trailer also felt like everyone's opinion about something got a yes. <laughs> like anyone that thought like, what if we do this? They're like, yes, we'll do that. What if we do this? Yes, we'll do that. What if James Corden's in it? Yes, we'll get him. <laughs> this, is, this is Gremlins too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like this is going to be up there. Like our kids, kids, kids are going to be like, hey, you guys want to get fucked up and watch cats? <laughs> yeah. Just fucking scare yourself. There's a few. Remember that? You know that part where she springs that ugh. that catnip on those other cats? They go crazy. Yeah, it's ugh, no. And we haven't even seen it yet. That's what's nuts. And you know what? I'm gonna see it. That's what even me. <laughs> like that's the thing too. Is it's like I know I'm gonna sit through this thing, yeah. and I'm gonna digest it, and I'm gonna take it, in, and it's gonna be a part of me forever. And I'm gonna be more mad after I see it, but I'm gonna have uh, had put myself into that situation. I so. won't be surprised if my real cat at home throws up a few times. <laughs> She's like, ah, no, no, I thought this was for me. Who is this for? It should be called humans that look like cats. <laughs> yeah. Humans pretending to be cats. The science experiment that went weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like the Hermione Granger, uh, the little yeah. potion she gives, she turns into a cat. It's like, that, let's take that scene and make a movie for two and a half hours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I could talk about this the entire time. Yeah, no, we time, have to move we on. We have to keep moving because there's so many other topics. They're so terrifying, though. Um, YouTuber apologies. <laughs> what about them? There's an. Oh, wait, ad break. <laughs> oh, wait, ad break. <laughs> oh, wait, ad break. <laughs> hey, guys, I just want to say I'm really sorry. This video is sponsored by. Better Health! <laughs> Are you struggling with depression? But skip ad. And then I just I mean, I tried mean, my best. And I, you guys know that I can't do this without and you. This and this video I would never is do brought to you by Colgate. Colgate, are your teeth as sturdy as skip you think? Skip ad. Oh, <laughs> Look, I had no clue that my girlfriend would get that I learned bad. so many lessons. 
lessons and everything's about growth and finding yourself. And I just going to take some time off and I won't be posting on Twitter, but I shot some videos before and I'm going to post them. <laughs> also, my new I, single's coming out. It's really fucking cool. And I do have merch, but like, I don't even know anymore. It doesn't feel comfortable for me to be tweeting or anything about it, but I am wearing my new one. So. I had to shoot this video like seven times. There's a link in the bio. Oh mm. my God. <laughs> Fuck. Should we do it again? Did those tears look real? Did Producer they look, off camera? Did, was it out of focus? Okay, I'll do it again. I feel like I wasn't being genuine. Let's go outside so that I can get some sun in my eyes so it really looks like I'm crying. No, leave the dog in the background. It Perfect. humanizes me. Perfect. Okay, um, next topic. <laughs> you just made it so that like 15 people won't be your guest anymore. <laughs> I'll make an apology video about this podcast episode. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I should have thought about my... My thoughts before I said them. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Please go to betterhelp.com slash grace. Offer code grace for 10% off. <laughs> okay. People that don't use their turn signals. Uh, I think we've talked about this in the past, actually. It's fucking furious. I am. Your car can only do so many things to communicate and turn signals is one of them. Why would you not use it? Here's, here's, okay. Can I, I've come up with this theory. Yeah. Think of your car as a giant driving helmet, okay? okay. Think about it as your eyes, your ears. It's a big dome mm -hmm. metal head mm -hmm. that you're just driving around. Wouldn't you want to look around or let people know when you're about to do something? Yeah. Blink. Just yeah. blink. Yeah. Just That's just all you got to <laughs> fucking do is blink. Right. It's like going up to someone when you have to use a bathroom and you need to ask where the bathroom is, but you don't use your words to ask someone. You just start peeing on their leg and hope they get it. It's like, what are you doing, dude? Yeah. They're going to be mad. You made a mistake and the cops are going to be called. Yeah. God, it's, oh, I hate when people don't use their turn signals. When people just slowly start to drift into your lane and you're like, I guess you're in my lane now. Yeah. And you know what's weird is I... I don't know why, but every time something like that happens, I have to scream at the top of my lungs as if they're going to hear me verbatim. Yeah. Where I'm always like, oh, cool, we're making a change. <laughs> nice job, Red Buick. No, it's always the same type of car, too. Sometimes I'm in an Uber and they're like, who are you screaming at? And I'm like, the Red Buick. Guy. You should be mad, too, sir. <laughs> uh, fandoms. What about them? They're great. I mean, I love fandoms. They can be scary sometimes. That's what I mean. I don't like scary fandoms that are just um, very live and die by the um, the the adoration for their person that they love. Yeah, I guess that is true. Some fandoms are, I guess, you know, like you send a fandom on a joke whim sometimes and all of a sudden it's just chaos it's in the comment control. section. It's out of control. It's out of control. But you know what? That's just one of the, the peaks and valleys of uh, the internet. That's yeah. just where we live. I mean, look, comment sections were bound to do something. And I that's... like silly fandoms. I what? Give me an example, please. Fandom. I don't even know if they exist. Like a, <laughs> you can't say you like, like something. A you... <laughs> silly fandom that like gets the joke that doesn't try to attack people for like what they perceive as a, attacks against the person that they support. Um, I think that might be Jack's films. Yeah, I feel like Jack's films has a great fandom that understands like sarcasm. I like that his fandom is also very understanding of other van fandoms that don't understand, like yeah. the why versus I asked you yesterday, yeah. <laughs> where it's like he he made that up. I, yeah. I will sit here and say this as someone who has nothing to do with it. He did PewDiePie did not make that up. Yeah, <laughs> but it's so funny because. People are commenting on Jack's videos being like, you fucking copy and PewDiePie, you fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like his fan, like his commenters yeah. are like, dude, look at the receipts. He's been yeah. doing this for years. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Fandoms. Interesting. Fandoms. Uh, My favorite one right now is the Area 51 people. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It just turned into a music festival, I heard. Really? Yeah. The, the, per <laughs> the, person, the person who was like in charge of it was like, yeah, fuck it. It's a music festival now. <laughs> I'm dead serious. <laughs> he just went on Facebook and changed it. And, and so did he watch any of the Firefest docs and that you can't just say this is a music festival and then everything falls into place. But it's slowly becoming a fire festival now. And I'm yeah. just excited to see what happens. To watch what happens. Are you going to go? God, no. Oh, come on. No way. I'm too you got time. Now you're going to be in Ohio. Uh, you're right. I might go back and then fly. For I might fly and just be the front runner. Just the guy in the front. Just <laughs> Just go get in line right now. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. fly from LA to Area 51. I'll, I'll treat it like it's a Black Friday situation. I'm just sitting there with a camper, like, just waiting for that fucking I'm, music festival. Yeah, I'm going to get me a big screen TV and a music <laughs> festival. I'm going to get me a big screen TV and an alien. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm very excited for it. 
now that you've, I didn't know it was becoming a music festival. Now I'm very excited. I can't wait to see what it comes up next. I mean, Alien Ant Farm has to play. Right? <laughs> I mean, if they don't answer the call, I don't know what they're doing with their lives. I mean, what are they doing with their, what, what's Alien Ant Farm up to? I know I you're listening, know. Alien Ant Farm. I mean, who else is a... Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? That's a the cover. Michael Jackson yeah. cover. Oh my God, I... That's all I know of them, too. Oh, man. I know. Alien Ant Farm. You got to get with it. Um, okay, what should and should not go on pizza? Oh, okay. I'm a hard believer of no pineapples on pizza. Yeah, me too. I'm so against it. And it's weird because people have been trying to convert me, especially in L.A. They're Talk just about like, a fandom that's yeah, aggressive. They're just like, yeah, but it's just a little bit. Of t- it's the opposite. It's, it's a sweet. It's a, the, uh, I'm like, no, it's a fruit that mm-hmm. you've cooked. And now it's on a delicious, cheesy thing. I don't want that. Yeah. Would you put a blueberry on pizza? No. That's also a fruit. That right. sounds crazy. I know. That's what I'm telling all these pineapple on pizza lovers. I understand that you might, that it, I don't like pineapple. Really? It, it, ish. Ish. It's not my like go-to. It just doesn't seem, it, it seems like the, the most random fruit to grab and throw on a pizza. Yeah. It seems like the fruit that's trying the hardest to not get eaten. So why would I combat that? Oh my God. Oh my God. It's wearing like its own chain mail. There is a. (laughs) You just blew my mind. You're so right. Like a banana is like, here, peel away. I got goodness inside. You don't even have to wash me. Yeah. But a pineapple is like, good luck. Just make a fucking ice sculpture out of me and then you'll get to the fruit. Yeah. And then maybe throw me on a hot steaming pizza. Throw cheese on me. Oh, God. (laughs) You know, I really, I really think that it was just. Let's think about the fundamentals of this (laughs) cheese. Yeah. Tomato sauce and pineapple. Yes. And, and most of the time it's like ham too. And ham. They're always, it's Hawaiian style. And I'm just like, no, that's, that's no. And I'm pretty liberal about like what can go on pizza. It's me too. I mean, I'm just yesterday I had a pizza that was stuffed crust with a uh, sweet potato and it was delicious. Amazing. It was delicious. That sounds great. That's a sweet and a savory no. that I can get on board with. Wipe that face off your face. It looks, de- it was delicious. <laughs> But if they if it had showed up with a pineapple on it, I would have thrown it out the window like my phones. What else should not go on pizza? Candy? <laughs> chocolate? Would, would chocolate be good on pizza or not I'm, good on okay, pizza? Okay, I'm over this whole concept of because people like, making sweet pizzas where it's just like chocolates. Sweetses, but, did you just invent something? Sweetses? Sweetses? That has to exist somewhere. Grace's Sweetses. My Sweetses. <laughs> She's opening up a sweet pizza shop. <laughs> uh but like would because like you you do like chocolate and cheese fondue and things like that that like pair together. Not on a pizza. Not with the tomato no, I'm sauce. I'm curious. Yeah, the tomato sauce is what throws it off. The, the tomato sauce is what throws everything off. Oof. Okay. Okay. Because okay. cheese and and a this is infuriating me. Okay. This is infuriating you. It's making <laughs> not infuriating. <laughs> it, yeah, it's it's out infuriating. He's infuriated right now. I'm infuriated. I am I am exposed and I'm infuriated. <laughs> Uh, no, uh, I, I will say, I think, yeah, sweets don't belong on pizza. Mm -hmm. I don't think any sort of candies belong on pizza. I also don't believe in the whole pizza thing where there's no fucking cheese and you know what I'm talking about? Mel Shaker, oh, where it's just, just like heavy sauce and then like meat. And they're like, yeah. that's it. And then they do the alternative too, which is like no sauce and it's just cheese, which is just garlic bread. Yes. Yes. Essentially. It's so dry. Mm-hmm. Look, if it doesn't have sauce and cheese and bread, mm-hmm. it's not pizza. It's just like an open face sandwich thing. What do you think about eggs on pizza? Fuck that. I hate eggs. Wow. I hate eggs so much. Like a fried egg? Look, I, I get it. It's probably delicious. Sure. To some people. Mm-hmm. But to me, I don't want a little baby fart just <laughs> chilling in the middle of my pizza because that's what it smells like. It smells like a little chicken fart. It does. It does. You got a stink bomb ready yeah. to detonate yeah. in the middle of your pizza. The moment somebody starts eating that, you're like, oof. What's that smell? Yikes. And that's going to smell worse later. Ooh, God, Grace. It's the preview <laughs> to the feature length film. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, it's going to smell worse later. <laughs> okay, last one cats. before we take a look yeah, cats. <laughs> it's going to get worse. <laughs> yeah, I mean, can you imagine what the James Corden whole scene is going to be? Okay, we got to move on. I'm sorry. What I'm is sorry. the James Corden scene? I don't know, but he I've spit seen... something right in someone's face. And I was like, that's weird that he would even be okay to do that. Wow. And I also just think of Mike Myers in the cat in the hat all the time. And I'm like, oh. if he doesn't show up at least for a second and just go <laughs> and then leave, then yeah. I'm going to be bummed. Wow. Wow. Wow, a missed opportunity for a great cameo. Mm-hmm. Okay, last one before we take a quick break. For sure. 
or maybe, maybe not. <laughs> the whole number neighbor scheme. Do what? Number neighbor. Oh, where people were f- texting. like texting their. Did you text? I did not. I did not. No, I was too afraid. Same. I saw. I saw too many things on Instagram of people being very, very mean to people, getting threatened by their yeah. number neighbors. And then I was like, you know what's the least thing I want a person who hates me to have? My phone number. Yep. <laughs> so I'm not going to yeah. do that. It's my most vulnerable thing. I was expecting someone to text me that day. I know. I, I I thought about this the other day. I was like, should I feel sad that I never got a text? Yeah. I, from any from either neighbor. I, Honestly, I didn't think sadness. I just thought, like, I must have, like, such a unique phone number. That's, like, so cool. <laughs> yeah. Like, I genuinely was like, it's like kids at a table not wanting to sit next to you. <laughs> yeah, I must be so intimidatingly cool. Can I get, like, a thousand away from Mitchell? <laughs> I don't want to be his number, neighbor. <laughs> I don't want to accidentally call him. But I also feel like, because you know how the uh, the geriatric app that everyone was using, the old person app to make them their face old? Face, then, face app. Face app. Is that what it was called? Yeah. You, that creative name, yeah, face app? Face app. Uh, you know how everyone said that like Russians were getting everyone's data and information <laughs> be after it? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I don't trust this number neighbor scheme to not be some sort of marketing <laughs> ploy or some sort of like data pulling ploy. I don't know how yet. I haven't gotten to the theory. I haven't gotten past just the initial theory. <laughs> because there isn't any. <laughs> there's got to be some, there's the, some seedy underbelly to this like seemingly fun, harmless prank that the internet has made viral. You live your life as if it's Stranger, th- stranger Things. Stranger, I'm Winona Ryder from Stranger Things. I'm at a 10 in my paranoia constantly and I never come down. That explains all the Christmas lights. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, hello? 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 And just me screaming at Wall. If I go days without posting on social media, now you guys know why. I'm just yelling at my walls, knocking on them, trying to find out who's in there. It's great. It's real great. You really do sound so paranoid about it. I that's it was definitely just some like 12-year-old's dumb idea. Where I was... guess so. But can you imagine hearing about like, yeah, in 2019, we're gonna do this thing called number neighbor? <laughs> Like, that sounds scary and creepy. And, like, I don't want to be part of that. What do you think is going to be the next one? The Number Neighbor Initiative. Uh, Because this um, is so, I'm, there is, like, like alternatively, I'm surprised that we haven't done this earlier. This is such a simple concept. Well, I mean, I feel like we're finally living in the age where nobody gives a shit about, like, like minutes or anything. Like, we finally are living in that age where it's, like, a phone thing? Nobody, that doesn't happen. You just always get the new phone every time and it doesn't fucking matter. Whereas before it was like, yo, bro, I got 18 minutes. We need to talk for five of those yes. and I'm going to send five texts out of my 15 <laughs> for the month. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like that was it. You had, yeah, you had like a cachet. You had a limit. Maybe it was happening and we just didn't even know it. I don't know, but what, we should come up with the next viral sensation prank okay. situation. That's a lot of pressure, Grace. Yeah, it is. I'm going to let someone else do it. Okay. I'm done. Perfect. Um, okay. Well, well, let's take a quick break. And when we get back, we have a bunch more, but I want to kind of vet these a little bit. So we're not just like talking about the same shit over and over again. So guys go text your number neighbor during this break. Um, and let us know how it goes or come up with the new viral texting harmless prank and let us know. So at we reply can, us. At we'll, reply us. And we'll take credit for it. At <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say we're going to do it. We'll participate. Uh, You're like, it's ours. We're going to steal it from you. Yeah, this is a binding uh, <laughs> verbal contract that anything you tweeted at us is ours in its entirety. Uh, we own the entire property and all of the um, movies that will be made uh, here in two fourth to the future. Legalese. Legalese. We'll be right back with more Not Too Deep. No, 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 no. Support for today's show comes from Third Love. With more than 70 sizes, including their signature half cup sizes, Third Love designs bras with breast size and shape in mind for a perfect fit and premium feel. You guys have heard me talk about Third Love in the past, and I still stay connected with the thought that they're fantastic. They've sent me their products into someone that wears basically like ace bandages for bras. These are comfortable, fashionable. They make me feel classy and supported all at the same time. They're hands down the most comfortable bra that you'll own. They have straps that don't slip. They have tagless labels and not to mention lightweight, super thin memory foam cups that mold to your shape and are proprietary to third love. Best of all, every customer has 60 days to wear it, wash it, and put it to the test. If you don't love it, you can re Turn it and Third Love will wash it and donate it to a woman in need. Third Love knows there's a perfect bra for everyone. So right now they're offering you beautiful listeners 
15% off your first order. Go to thirdlove.com slash grace now to find your perfect fitting bra and get 15% off your first purchase. That's thirdlove.com slash grace for 15% off today. Not, not too deep. You guys know we love Squarespace and guess what? They love us because they're supporting this episode of Not Too Deep and they want to turn your dream into a reality. They make it easier than ever to launch your passion project. Do you want to start a new business? Do you want to showcase that work? Do you want to publish your content? Do you want to sell products? Do you want to do more? Well, Squarespace is the tool for you. They have beautiful templates created by world-class designers and the ability to customize just about anything with a few clicks so you can easily make a beautiful website all by yourself. They also have a powerful e-commerce functionality that lets you sell anything online and analytics that help you grow your site in real time. Plus, everything is optimized for mobile right out of the box. There's nothing to patch or upgrade ever. Buying domains is simple. You'll get all the help you need with Squarespace's 24-7 award-winning customer support. They empower millions of people. We're talking designers, lawyers, artists, 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 gamers, restaurants, and gyms to turn great ideas into something real. So go to squarespace.com slash grace for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code grace to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash grace, offer code grace. Okay. Um, ooh, Heather M. is heated. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Just because your family had to leave the hotel at 5 a.m. to catch a flight doesn't mean that all of us are awake. Stop having lengthy, loud conversations down the hotel corridors while I'm sleeping. <sighs> wow. Heather, he- did, I feel like something specific happened, Heather. I feel like for some reason she was at a swim meet. I don't know why, but it feels <laughs> like it was a swim meet. They're always so goddamn loud. And this happened to me recently. I, I am usually pretty okay with like noise in hotel rooms just from living in New York. But recently uh, I was in Portland and the night of the, after Mamer and I did a show, I was going to sleep and these bitches upstairs were just like walking around. It was like they were doing the chicken dance for six hours straight. I just heard footsteps constantly in this, like what I assume is a small space up there. Like every single footstep I heard to the point that I turned into like a crotchety old woman in like a kid's movie. And I just started kit like punching the ceiling <laughs> to get them to hear like that. It was like 3 a.m. They were probably like the bottom floor loves it too. Yeah, That's the so bottom sick. floor is raging. That's our base, dude. That's our base. <laughs> Yeah. I stood on the bed and was like jumping up to the wow. ceiling and punching it. Wow, yeah. you old mean lady. I got crotchety. You got to get, you get, you're going to start traveling with a broom just so you can hit the I top. I literally of- looked for anything handle like. Ah! I tried to find something with a handle. Yeah, but I, I couldn't. I will say this about that. And I think about this quite a bit is I'm really fucking sick of hotel rooms that are like facing the corridor of the hotel and oh, not outside. Yes. That shit's not okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm really, it's almost dare. I say a prank that the hotel pulls on you where you're like, look at the view. And then you open the windows and you're like, people checking in. Great. Yeah. I can't do anything. And it is very fucking loud Um, the whole time. Have I ever told you Mamrie's story about that? We were uh, in a hotel in like Charlotte or somewhere on tour years ago. And she had a room that faced the interior of the hotel, but didn't really realize it. And she had like, we had a couple hours before we had to go to our show. So we both went to our rooms and we're just chilling out. And then she texted me. She's like, oh, my God. And I was like, we've been in our rooms for like a half hour. And I was like, what happened? She's like, I'll tell you when you come over to rehearse. I went over to her, her room to rehearse and all the windows curtains are drawn. And she's like, I got into the room and I have it's on by myself. I get into my the birthday suit and I'm sitting <laughs> on the bed, just completely everything's out there. And I'm like flipping through the channels, watching reality TV. And then she's like, I get a knock on the door and I put a robe on and I answer it. And it's this woman, like a middle-aged woman. And she goes, ma'am, <laughs> my family and I are staying in a room across the way and my children have just seen you completely naked in your hotel room and she looked because she didn't realize that the window that she had went to the inside she it was like an illusion it looked like it was looking outside so these kids she looked over and it's just like a family in a window (laughs) across the hotel and she was like oh my god I was just sitting here watching HGTV butt ass naked like on the bed and all these kids saw her so guys that's a um a, 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 a tale that should warn you. It's it, a cautionary tale. I'm just what I'm saying. It's a prank. It's yeah. messed up. Oh my God. She literally, those kids are like, this is the, the sexiest zoo I've ever been at. <laughs> yeah. And like, they clearly saw 
that so much to the point that the mom knocked on her door and told her that she should shut her curtains. Or, or the opposite, that the mom was like, what are you kids looking? Hey! Oh my hey, God! Wait a second, is that Mamrie Hart? Is that Fixer Upper? Is that butt-ass <laughs> naked Mamrie Hart? I'm going to be right back, you two. <laughs> Did I mention both these kids are 21 and 25? Yeah, exactly. Uh, so beware. Guys. Yeah, no, seriously, be careful. <laughs> Sorry, it was just, it was traumatic for me too. Like it was just not an okay situation. Uh, I mean, speaking of parents, um, someone <clears throat> someone says parents who show you 1,000 pictures of their kids. Oh, Why? I don't, to prove that they're not a psychopath that's pretending and making up a child. I mean, you just got to show me one. And, one. Even, and even then, you could pull it off the internet, and if it looked enough like you, I'd be like, sure. Yeah, exactly. And listen, even if you have the absolute cutest child in the history of children, I don't need to see them in various places doing various things. I mean, the only time that I think it's appropriate for you to be like, hey, check this out, is if you find out that your kid has a superpower. Yeah. Because then I'm like, we're pretty interested. You yeah. know what I'm saying, camera girl. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> But like, I mean, if 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 unless it's doing something amazing, or it has a tail. Whoa. Okay, that was a. I like that though. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, unless it, there's something incredible. Yeah, about that, this baby that enriches my life because you're showing me this in what I imagine is the hopes that this is going to make my day better. When you should know that this makes it worse. It just, yeah, I, I doesn't, you know, it doesn't make me feel old. It just, no. it just makes me feel like um, less of an adult. It makes me feel like I'm wasting my time. Oh wow, that's. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just like I. Yes, I'm sure these children mean a lot to you. Um, but uh, you are now asking me to provide you some sort of like um, validation. Yeah. Some hey, support on this. Good baby job. Yes, yeah, you did it. Sex is fun, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Don't you don't you wish you did it a little different? No, okay. Glad that you didn't wear protection. Have that's gonna be with you forever. Yeah. I um but see, I do understand the showing of pets, and maybe that's because I have a pet. Oh, that's the same thing. I know it's the same thing. I just like dogs. Again, I'm only excited if they're like, I just got my dog cut in this crazy thing. Or it's yeah. like something. Oh, it's a video of the or, dog doing something cool. Or, uh, yeah, doing a trick or mimicking a human sound. Because for some reason, I'm so fucking into that when animals are like, hey, I'm like, what? <laughs> say you can't say that <laughs> or like when a dog's like I, I love you i love you i love you i'm just like fuck that that's amazing that freaks me out i'll watch those videos for days but if it's just a video of a dog being a dog i'm like who gives a fuck yeah who gives i'll go to a dog park by myself until they <laughs> kick me out i'll get one in 3d hd 4k 8k watch right in front of me watch this yeah watch watch <laughs> this watch me throw a tennis ball and 15 dogs show up that aren't even mine. <laughs> <laughs> and then you take their phone and you throw it out your window. And then I text their freaking number, <laughs> neighbor. <laughs> and it's my number. And we become best friends. Oh, that's what you should do. When someone starts showing you photos of their kids or dogs, just say, oh, can I see that? And take their phone and then text a random number. <laughs> That says something along the lines of, uh, I made it home. <laughs> or, or actually just text that picture to that random number so that it'd be like, hey, that's another person you could talk to about these pictures. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know their name, but it, oh, three dots. There you go. You're yeah. Good. Go into their contacts quickly. Search the letters EX. <laughs> see what shows up. <laughs> and then just furiously text that at first and then give the phone back and say, thank you for your time. They are going to get a text back for sure. Your kids are real cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Someone says the woes of drive throughs <laughs> Poof. Fuck them. They make me so anxious. Uh, In theory, great. Convenient. You don't really have to deal with people. I was going to say, yeah, on paper, it makes so much sense. It is genius. And then you get to in and out and you're like, this is the my panic. hell. This is hell. Pure panic. And then you're stuck. Yeah. You you're, can't go forward or backwards. It's, uh, look, as a kid, before I took any sort of medications, before I took any sort of anything, I remember there'd be times where my family was like, let's all go to blankety blank. And uh -huh. I'd be like... That's like 30 minutes of me being trapped mm -hmm. in, a, in a big metal yeah. cage with no anything. Yeah. And then I might eat in here. <laughs> <laughs> and, that, and that was always the scariest part is uh -huh. like that initial fast food in your gut while you're still in a belly of car people. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Just made me feel really scared. And I was not. No, I hate it. I fucking hate it. But now as an adult. 
again, still great in theory, but then you get there and the pressures of, I don't know why every single place doesn't offer you the menu first before you get to the box where you have to place your order and you have to look at this menu and then it becomes just a magic eye to me. <laughs> like the menu, I just look directly at it, soft focus, and I'm not looking at anything and I'm just feeling, I'm like counting seconds in my head of how silent I've been, how long I've been silent to the person that's asking me for my order. And it's just a torture chamber. <laughs> For me. And then I order something that I don't want because the car behind me looks like they're ravenous. Yeah. Okay. That's the thing that I always think about. I'm constantly thinking about the people in front of me and yeah. behind me. And I'm just like, they must be starving. It's they because must we're be starving. too good of people. And I have to continue moving. Also, this is the thing that really throws me off is I hate when it starts off with a voice yeah. and then it ends with a totally another voice. And I'm like, <laughs> wait, did any of my order get told to the right person? Where yeah. it's just like, hey, welcome to Wendy's. And then you give your order and it's like, Great, that'll be 565. <laughs> and you're like, what? Who the fuck just, did they just, did, did a switch just happen? That's like, that's happened to me so many times that it's thrown me off where I've been like, can I just give you my order again, new guy? And yeah. they're like, no, 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 I'm just we the other it. window. And I'm like, yeah, but I'm just, I don't feel comfortable. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's uh, like, I'm making it about me now, but it's. I mean, I'm giving you my business and um, <laughs> I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page. Here. Yeah. I mean, like, I don't, I want to know where my tips go. You know yeah. what I mean? I want to know that I got, I'm going to get the order of the thing that I hastily ordered that I don't actually want because I'm too nervous about who's in front of me and who's behind me right now. You know, I will say when you double it down, yeah. like places like Subway, mm -hmm. that makes me almost feel like I'm going to pass out when they're just like, what cheese? And I'm like, oh, oh God. I don't even know what all the cheeses are called, let alone which one I want. They And they, they don't try to tell you like what they all are. They're just yeah. like, what cheese? No, they're not there to like add customer service. And there's like, I don't, I know there's only like six, but yeah. in the moment there's 110. I know. And I always end up choosing provolone and I don't know why. For and it's like not, it'll be not a non provolone sandwich. And they're like, are you sure? And I'm like, yes. You ready? I, I said it. I always go like this. I always go, uh, the white one. <laughs> and there's always like three white ones. And they're like, uh, sir, do you mean the blank, the blank or the blank? And I'm like, mm hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And I always end up just paying for two cheeses. I mean, that maybe is a genius plan. We went recently, <laughs> Elliot and I went to um, Subway the other day and we were a little high and it was a great choice. That's only when you eat Subway. <laughs> yeah. And we went in and it was empty and this one guy was helping us. And I was like, I want all the vegetables. He's like, all of them? I was like, mm-hmm. And then he starts making it and we're both a little stoned, so we're not talking at all. And at one point he looks up and he goes, Oh, you guys are making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> we just like both looked at we're like, oh, what? Sorry. Oh my God. He goes, you weren't talking. I thought you were just like watching me work. Whereas we're just like looking around <laughs> separately at the rest of the subway. We're like, no, man, no, sorry, sorry, no. We're just like very tired. And he's like, okay, okay. But it was in his perspective, he is right. We were two fucking weirdos. I said, I want all the vegetables. And then it was just pure silence after he just starts putting vegetables on the sandwich. Yeah, that's that's definitely like- Our going, fault, <laughs> for sure, our fault. It's like it's like going to one of those yogurt shops and being like, yeah, can I just get a bag of uh, just the bubbles? <laughs> Thanks. And then just walking away. <laughs> Exactly. Just being like, wait, you want me just to keep scooping the bu Okay, what size? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. I felt so bad because you guys are making me nervous. It makes me huh? happy to know that they're as nervous as we are. Yeah, yeah. I felt so, and he was so nice and he was so good. He made, honestly, maybe the best sandwich I've ever had. Well, I mean, you were stoned. Of course it was the best sandwich <laughs> yeah, you ever had. Yeah, it wouldn't even close. It was great. <laughs> yeah, like if any, it probably was just a shoe with a bunch of vegetables and in it. And it was delicious. <laughs> I ate every lace. Um, okay, mixing oh. foods on plates for or against. Oh, f against. Separate that stuff. I mean, they're really? yeah. even. If, but even if it's like Thanksgiving. No, no, wow. I'm not that guy. I don't like my food touching. It's the there's look. I take a lot of medicine, and there's some things <laughs> nothing will fix, <laughs> <laughs> and that is one of them. Okay, I just can't. I, was, I can't deal. You with. have healthy boundaries. <laughs> That's what that uh, I means. Have boundaries with my health. <laughs> <laughs> it's, but it is. Uh, yeah, it is a real fucking thing. Like I remember the first few Thanksgiving. I went to, I actually was like, can someone just make lasagna for me? And my grandma was like, I guess. <laughs> so she made like the smallest tray like of, of lasagna. Cause I was just like, cause then it's just one big thing that can touch itself. <laughs> 
thought you were going to say, can someone make lasagna for me? I want the noodles on one side. I want the sauce on another. I want the ricotta in the corner. I want deconstructed lasagna. No, this is not fucking chef's table, Grace. (laughs) It was my grandmother. She just wanted to... Do you want me to put it here? And then and, and, and there's no sauce. It's just a smoke. She posts in my face. It's really quick. That's the sauce. I just imagine everyone else eating delicious Thanksgiving food and you're just sitting. That's with a, what it was a like. A brick of lasagna. Yes. And coleslaw because I was like, that's the one thing I do like. Coleslaw. <laughs> for Thanksgiving. That was my life for my early teens. Wow. It was amazing. And it's like still a thing now. We've moved to tea like because it's Easter. I'm always like Easter. <laughs> what is that? Uh, uh-huh. But anyways, my whole family gets together and still has like a proper dinner. And I'm always like this. That's my lasagna day now. <laughs> Where I'm always like, where's the lasagna though? <laughs> for me? Oh, I you know, love that. For my gods. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> okay, weirdly over the top bloody marys. <laughs> um, Which, again, I, I think are great. I love a bloody mary. I was gonna say yeah. I was... love them. I love the the garish ones that are so overly accessorized. I, in theory, in Instagram photos, look great. In reality, when you get one of those. It's like ordering fajitas at a restaurant. It's like you are so attention seeking that you want the rest of the restaurant to watch you and your thing that's food and a show at the same time. Yeah. And then getting it into your body is the most awkward thing in the world. So you brought this stick. Yeah. It's all on a stick and it's like shrimp and cheese and bacon and olives and like a cheeseburger that's too small. And it's all kind of got a little bit of tomato juice on it. So handling it with your hands, just getting red juice everywhere. And it's like, you are an asshole. I, I've always put those in the same realm of like that person who's like, can I get the tiki drink that's on fire yeah. and huge? Like you're doing something. You're going for something here at this bar and and yeah. there's no way that you can not say like, oh, this is a little much. It's like, well, what'd you expect? Yeah, you're turning this bar into a tiny personal Benny Hanna for yourself. <laughs> yeah. so. Like that, There's a reason he was away for 20 minutes making it. It's because he had to fry <laughs> a patty. I know. I've seen... <laughs> I've seen photos of the Bloody Marys that have like half a burger That's on what it. I mean. And I'm like, no, this is now you guys are getting dumb. This is too silly. When the balancing system eventually, I just, I can't. It's Jenga. It's going to topple over. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. And what are you going to do with it? They're not giving you a Bloody Mary with a plate on the side. Like take the Bloody Mary out of it. Okay. Just think mm-hmm. if you ordered a meal and was like, mm, could you balance all that on my drink? Yeah. I wanna, <laughs> Could you put that all as kebab style? Yeah. Can I get a burger, medium rare, and on a stick, please? <laughs> <laughs> and could it be floating on top of the drink? Just so it's a little moist, but it's still edible because I'll be drunk. <laughs> I want wet buns. Yeah. It's just, it's just a strange situation. Look, I get it. It's like a weird thing, but I'm going to be real with you. If you ordered one and that's you were like, I didn't expect this, then what were you expecting? Yeah, because even a Bloody Mary with a piece of celery, like a celery stalk in it, is so awkward to eat. That thing rattles around and slaps you in the nose every time you try and take a sip. I, I remember I remember when you had those on this show in mm-hmm. like the early seasons. And yeah. there was an episode with Elliot, actually, where I was editing it. And I had to cut so many things because he kept trying to take drinks and poking his own eye. <laughs> With the fucking celery. Yeah. And and it was it was a nice like, thing because no one ever <laughs> took the celery out, I think, because they were being like a gracious guest. But I wanted to be like, it's for show. You could you don't have to keep it. And so many people just kept the celery stuck <laughs> in there. And I felt so terrible. There was just so many times where I was like, idiots. <laughs> you just stir that shit and then take a bite and set it on the table. Yeah. And he's just like, tr- like you're like being the host saying the ordinary and he's just like poking his own fucking eye. Oh God, it's so funny. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, good times. These are, far we've that, come. This feel good. It's feeling, feeling good. Feeling very cathartic. Yeah, I just peed my pants. Okay, <clears throat> here's a solid rant topic. It's a photo of all the new Heinz mayo concoctions. Have you seen this? What? Heinz ketchup has created mayo must Cranch, mayo chip, Wait, and mayo cube. Can I guess what these are mixtures of? Uh-huh. Okay, what's the first one? Mayo must. Mayo must. That's mayonnaise and a musty old man. Yep. Okay. Uh, cranch. Cranch. That's Krampus and ranch, but yeah. he stepped in it first. Yeah, exactly. Yes. May- mayo chup. Mayo chup. Uh-huh. That's mayo that someone upchucked already, and then they put it in a bottle and added a uh, horseradish. Yes. Uh, mayo cube. Mayo cube. Uh, that- 
that's actually a new hospital that they're building. Yes. The Mayo Q. Yes. I feel like we just did $64,000 pyramid right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are the actual fl- I need to know. I need to so know. The mayo must is mustard and mayonnaise. Ew. Cranch, I is it I think it's ketchup ranch. Okay. And then mayo chup. I don't know what this is. Mayonnaise ketchup? These, yes, mayonnaise ketchup. These sound like the like the movie Step Brothers, like those two characters are like Hi, we have four ideas for new flavors of <laughs> dipping sauces. We call these specials. Yeah, and then mayo Q, which is mayonnaise barbecue combined. Here, you can see the photo of oh them. Oh my god! These are real as far as I understand. I don't know what I feel about these because I do like both mayonnaise and ketchup on my french fries. I do like, mayonnaise, or I do like ketchup and mustard on my french fries together, mm-hmm. and I'll mix that together. But this feels excessive. This feels a lot like that whole concept where they were like peanut butter and jelly in one jar. Yeah. Do you remember those? It was like striped. Yeah. Uh, I feel like a lot of people have um, a lot of hatred towards mayonnaise and they're trying to cuten up mayonnaise for people that hate it. You think so? Mayonnaise has a weird. They're trying to make it more accessible. I mean, mayonnaise is just it's a. But but mayo Q, what would you put mayonnaise on that you would also put barbecue on? A chicken sandwich, maybe? I don't know. I guess a sandwich, yeah. But I'm trying to think of like baby back ribs. You're throwing, slapping some mayonnaise on some baby back ribs. Yeah, this feels like we're getting dangerously close to like food TM where they're like, just say it's food, but you have to say trademark after it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're like, why? And they're like, just, you have to. Yeah. Um. I don't, I, I, these, I think bother me because it's like Go-Gurt. Yeah. Like yo, I hate Go-Gurt like to an extreme that doesn't make sense. You know what's crazy is I feel like these would have done a lot better if they had just been like, they're completely new things. We made them up. They're just new sauces. Why why mayo yeah. must? I know. The names the <laughs> names are stupid. The names are like, they these idiots won't fucking know what's in here. So we gotta give them context clues so they yeah. understand what's in here. These are all named like apps I would d- download and delete in a minute. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Where it's like, I downloaded it because I needed to use it because it's the only app to let me crop it like that. Yeah. Or this is like someone that can't remember their password, so they keep typing in all these other variations uh, of it. I don't know. Cranch. Was a f- <laughs> Cranch sounds like, uh, Cranch, like deleted Pokemon. Cranch sounds like something I would say when I'm too high, where I'd be like, dude, pass the Cranch. <laughs> Just crunch me up, bro, dude. Just. Oh, it sounds like a strain of wheat. It sounds, yeah. Crunch. <laughs> yeah, we just got some purple heads, some crunch, some mayo <laughs> crunch, and uh, we got mayo must, which is really fucking good. So it got like a it's good a aroma. Must. It's a must. It's got like a musty, uh, it's an OG, and it's a <laughs> mixture between cookies and mayonnaise. <laughs> dude, yeah, we just let that shit grow in mayonnaise. Yeah, I think they like fully legalized weed in the Heinz factory. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> That's what all the speckles are in the cranch. Yeah, I know. You can actually legally smoke that. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. we're going to take one last break, and then we're going to get to some more rant topics via, oh, good, I'm getting a, cr- a call from Fraud Risk. <laughs> <laughs> right. On that note, I got to take this call, guys. We'll be right back with more Not Too Deep. Not Too Deep. If there's something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals, BetterHelp Online Counseling can help. They offer licensed professional counselors who are specialized in issues such as depression, anxiety, relationships, trauma, anger, family conflicts, LGBTQ+, matters, grief, self-esteem, and more. Connect with your professional counselor in a safe and private online environment and get help at your own time and at your own pace. Anything you share is confidential. It's convenient. You can schedule video or phone sessions as well as chat and text with your therapist and if for some reason you're not happy with your counselor you can request a new one at any time for no additional charge and it's affordable and you will get 10 percent off your first month with the discount code grace by going to betterhelp.com slash grace then simply fill out a questionnaire to help them assess your needs and get matched with the counselor that you'll love that's betterhelp.com slash grace not, not too deep Today we have support from Warby Parker. Prescription eyewear shouldn't cost more than a plane ticket. With Warby Parker, you can get high quality, good looking prescription eyewear at a fraction of the price. Every pair is custom fit with anti-reflective polycarbonate prescription lenses available exclusively through Warby Parker's website and retail stores. You simply take their quiz, answer a few questions, and they'll suggest great looking glasses that are totally personalized to your face and style. With Warby Parker's free 
home try on program. You can order five pairs of glasses and try them for five days. There's no obligation to buy. They even ship free and include a prepaid return shipping label. Head to warbyparker.com slash grace to order your free home try on. Glasses start at $95, including prescription lenses and include anti-glare and anti-scratch coatings. Blue light filtering lenses are also now available and if you have an iphone x you can download warby parker's app and use their brand new virtual try on to see the realistic color texture and size of each style using just your phone my mom is obsessed with warby parker glasses she wears the crap out of them she looks beautiful in them she's done the whole at home process i've gotten all the photos of all of her options i've helped her choose Uh, this is a brand that I couldn't support more. So why not try it out? Take the quiz and find a pair that's perfect for you today. Head to warbyparker.com slash grace. Okay, Mitchell, let's get into some last little rant topics here. Okay. Okay. Are they specifically little? Um, you tell me. Okay. Goldfish tastes too much like Cheez-Its. I've never thought about this before. They are... This, the same thing. They're the same thing, right? Just in different flavor form and Are we size. being swindled in, this whole time? Not flavor form, in shape form. Shape. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to lie, though. I always go for a cheese it Do you? Yeah. Wow, you just looked at me like I'm a fucking <laughs> serial killer. I don't know why that hit me so sentimentally. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> I, I was trying to think of what I go for. Do you? I've been on lots of flights where Cheez-Its have been the only viable like snack source, so I've been eating a lot more Cheez-Its recently. But if I had the choice, I might go goldfish. See, goldfish to me seem like something that a child's already put their hand in, touched all of them, uh, and then put the, taken their hand out, even if it's a fresh bag. <laughs> I'm like, isn't that part of like the flavor though? The flavor profile is a five-year-old's fingers. It's just, oh, yeah, wow. finger grime. Yeah, yeah, like that's where you get the salt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they come unsalted. Yeah. That's a little known fact. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> out there. It's for your, for your fucking skin, man. But I've never realized that they are the same. Yeah. Damn. Dude. Shit. That's a collab that we're waiting for. Whoa. Yeah, basically. God damn. Okay, sorry. That blew my mind. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see unpacking what about it just like information or packing clothes or (laughs) i'm confused on what we're talking about unpacking ranting like i hate unpacking i mean unpacking is tough i I don't do it i never do it i've never unpacked i'm not gonna lie to you really when i go places i I leave everything packed up in my bag and i i legit take things out and then repack them before i leave my hotel room yeah I... i i don't use the hotel things i don't use any of it no, I leave everything in my bag. I don't I don't use um a hotel like wardrobe. Never. No. Hannah does that and it freaks me out. I'm like, how long are you staying? Yeah. <laughs> it is very strange to me whenever I am in a hotel and I go to someone's room for a drink or and something. Unpacked. And they have like all their shit in the bathroom, like a normal bathroom. I'm like, it w- something okay <laughs> yeah. it took me a, it took me like four or five trips to vidcon before i realized that was a thing that not everybody does where the, they don't all keep it in like me where oh. they just like keep it packed up this could be really symbolic of your like emotional trauma for sure like the day that i actually <laughs> unpack my bags i sob and i sit on the bed and i realize who i am as so a maybe person this question is about emotional unpacking <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Let's move on quickly. My next question. Uh, Without any further um, uh, introspection of that. Pants with pockets sewn shut. F- what a fucking piece of shit you know who joke. Makes, yeah, you know who makes those? The devil. Yeah. That's, st- they're terrible. St- stupid. Also, if you're going to make, if you're going to, if I'm going to, mm, if I'm going to pay so much money for a suit and those suit pockets you're not you're gonna go yeah they're made there but we don't ever rip them out because that's how suits are i'm like guess what is that how suits work yes one of the fucking things about suits is it's like we make pockets for them but it's it's known that you don't ever button the bottom and top and the these these pockets stay so i'm like motherfucker open it all up Let me put my shit in my pockets. I'm going to a wedding and I'm going to want to take snacks home. And I'm going to also want to sit down and I have this giant fucking phone. I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> Open this one up. Sometimes, man, it's crazy. It is crazy. It is, I've never thought about that before. Yeah, men's suits are seemingly simple, but the- They're all connected. They're just attached up. Yeah, and the etiquette of like the button situation is stupid. Yeah, and like when you got to go to the bathroom, yeah. you're basically taking off an entire suit. Mm-hmm. It's so, it's 
insane because then you're like, I don't want to get any bathroom water on in it, but it's all sitting on the ground and the the tail <laughs> of the suit. Like, why the fuck does it even have a tail? Yeah. I think about fucking pockets, man. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> pockets are great. Uh, there was a rant about women's pockets, which is bullshit that women have pockets that are basically the ha- size useless. of nothing. Yeah. Use. Liss. Uh, I guess because we're supposed to have purses or bags or that situation. That's but so that's so fucking silly though. Everybody I got big can, hands. I got big ET fingers that can't go in teeny tiny little lady pockets. Yeah, and I have so much shit. I need a bag. Yeah. Stupid. Also, I get socially anxious. Where am I supposed to put my hands? That's another thing. Is like, what what do I do when I'm like? How not, do I look I, approachable? Yeah. I, I can't just cross my arms in front of my chest to keep my hands, you know, yeah. busy. You ever, that makes me look like I'm closed off. Yeah. You ever answered questions on a red carpet with your arms crossed? No, you don't do that. <laughs> But I'm going to start doing it. I'm going to start trying to look like a pouty little girl every time I go on a red carpet Ooh, now. This is my latest project. <laughs> if you don't like it, make my pockets bigger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want someone to design a suit that has a hoodie pocket. <laughs> Just right in the front. That's oh my what I God, want. Oh my God, that's a great. Or like a button down shirt. That has like hidden pockets inside. Two connected pockets. Oh my God. Like a little hand warmer. That's what I mean. Like those old, like those cuff things. Yeah. It's like, it's their thick seamlessly. Like, okay. I feel like this is Kanye's new. Jumpsuits have it right. Cause they have pockets and then they have slits in the side so that you can reach in your real pockets. That's what I'm talking Jump about. Jumpsuits? Like when you wear like a jumpsuit there's uh-huh. it, or like but a. But that's a bad bathroom situation. It's a terrible bathroom situation. Yeah. But if we're talking pockets, sure. it's a great pocket situation because you get double the pocketage. That's true. So, I mean. because But you, then you got to get like fully nude when you, you go wear, to the you bathroom. You wear like a pair of shorts underneath. And then when you get fully nude. You can't nude, piss through your shorts. I was going to say. And then when you go to the bathroom <laughs> and you get fully nude, you just hang it up on the thing and you just really enjoy yourself. You take about 15 for yourself. You, you know go. what I mean? Okay. Maybe splash a little water. Sure. I've sure. never done this. I've <laughs> never done this. This is crazy. I will say sometimes when someone leaves with the suit to go or when they're in a jumpsuit and they, they're they like, let me go to the bathroom real quick. I'm always yeah. like, 20 minutes, man. 20 minutes. Oh, it's the worst. I, I love jumpsuits. I love it. I love the ease of just like a one piece situation. But um, the bathroom situation is always a goddamn clusterfuck. I have actually like... Um, accidentally drop like the sleeves of a jumpsuit into the toilet and then you're in the bathroom just full panic and you don't know what to do and it's just terrible it is for me it's always like i will i will have like a jacket on that like it's tied around my waist and i pull it down and it just gets into that watery floor yeah (laughs) oh god it's the worst you're like Uh. you don't even know why it's that cold why is it that cold in there? I don't know. And how long has this water been sitting here? What kind of bacteria has grown in here? Yeah. I was actually recently in line to use the bathroom and the guy in front of me was like, look, bro, it's going to look like I'm going in and coming out, but I'm actually going to go in, make a wad of toilet paper and just clean up and then come back out and throw it away. Don't skip me. And I was like, okay. Wait, wh- oh, oh, he was like going he, in the stall cleaning it. He first went in the then- stall and was like, I'm cleaning everything up and then I'm wow. going to come back out with like two wads of whatever and I mean, throw good, it away a good samaritan yeah but a lot of people were mad at me that for letting him do that little whole dance it took a while <laughs> and then when he went in there he just started playing music and i was like okay now you've he gotten too comfortable music in his St- in this st- in just the one singular stall that this play this restaurant had i was like <laughs> dang it man that's a bold choice i mean i get if you're playing music to divert from taking like a massive shit but if anything you're drawing more attention to yourself and your stall. oh i mean he was yeah he was in it he was in it he was he was like if i'm gonna go i'm gonna relax i i, I imagine that this dude took his shirt off and was like oh yeah, yeah. he's like self-care hey, here we go <laughs> i'm gonna spray myself with some rose water when i'm done <laughs> Like, I really felt like he was, I mean, he was in there for a while. Wow. I mean, he sounds like he has, he, he, he has a system. Yeah, definitely. Um, okay. Someone said men spitting on the ground in public. I mean, just spitting in public is fucking strange. I think yeah. spitting in general is, uh, I mean, when you're just doing it to, what, what, what? Spitting. I don't, I'm trying to remember the last time I saw someone like spit in public. And I think that I, wasn't in Sandlot. Yeah, or a cowboy. <laughs> like, I don't. Uh, yeah, it's gross. I mean, I've seen it a few times, but it's always like an older man doing it that I guess assumes that this is fine. You know what? I changed my mind. I don't give a fuck. Spit. Spit all you want. I don't give a shit. So, spit. like, if you're in line to board a plane and someone just spits. If you're outside, spit. If you're inside, don't spit. 
Okay. Boom. Um, he has spoken. <laughs> <laughs> I am the spit lord. Um, okay. People in summer. People in summer. I don't know what that means exactly. Oh, how much Bluetooth suck? <laughs> you know what's weird? Bluetooth has like aged so well and bad at the same time. It's incredible. Yeah. We, I, do, we don't know what to do with it. We're just like, I guess this year it'll be for transferring photos quickly. And next year it'll be for connecting headphones that don't have any cord. Yeah. We've, we've never touched the logo. We touch the logos on all kinds of stuff. All the, I think about the Bluetooth all the time. I have the Bluetooth. Sounds like it. I have the Bluetooth logo tattooed on me. But also that's what we used to just call the... Like someone had a Bluetooth where they had like the headpiece that they would take phone calls on. Yeah. And now it's a broader description of things. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's grown into this weird, like, it's like people saying, uh, can you, do you have a tissue? You know what I mean? Or, yeah. or Kleenex? A Kleenex. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like that now. It's this thing that's like archaic. I imagine that if we go back far enough, there's Bluetooth etched in walls, that symbol <laughs> of cavemen being like, we use this for that to yeah. connect with sun. Back in like the Egyptian uh, pyramid. Yeah. 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 Like that was actually the bit like blue. That symbol came from an alien in the Egyptian time. <laughs> yes, probably. But I always I hate when you try and like connect your Bluetooth to a car and it's like cannot find. I'm like, yes, you can, motherfucker. It's I'm looking right here. at both of you. I know. Talk to each other. <laughs> I know that you were upset with each other last time, but please. Yeah. yeah blue- For the sake of my scary <laughs> podcast I want to listen to that gives me nightmares. What is it? Wait, together. what is it? What is it? Monster. Um, I'm listening to season two about the Zodiac Killer and I shouldn't. Ooh, you're scary. I'm scaring myself constantly. Little, okay, I'm just going to throw this at you. Yeah. Documentary to re- to recommend. Yeah. The Untitled Amazing Jonathan documentary. Super good. Check <gasps> I just it out. heard about this. Super good. Check it out. Oh, okay. I got to see it. Okay. Pyramid schemes. <laughs> Speaking of the pyramids. <laughs> I mean, a pyramid scheme is, uh, it's exactly what you thought. It's, it's, a, it's a really good investment. Yeah. And we have some ideas for you that we would love to get you guys interested in. You don't have to like, it's not a consistent sign up. You so, can buy one and be done. Yeah. So all you have to do is give us $5 and then you get one grace buck. Yes. One not too deep buck, excuse yes. me. And mm-hmm. then that not too deep buck, you can buy th- uh, for three of those, you get a live, love, a live buck. But you got to. Yes. And then it just keeps. And then if you bring three friends on, you'll get an extra not too deep buck. And we have a merch store that's connected that takes both bucks. Mm -hmm. But you got to convert those into bitcoins. Yes. And then that money, it goes back into the store. And then if your three friends bring three friends in, then you get a bonus for each one of those friends that they bring in. And you have to make sure that you're at least on call 12 hours a day. Yes. And we also have tiny lipsticks if you want them. uh, Look. Whoever invented the pyramid scheme maybe is a genius. Yeah. Whoever gets involved in pyramid schemes, how the fuck did you do that? Multi-level marketing schemes. Like anytime I, I see someone who's describing a pyramid scheme and doesn't realize it, I'm always yeah. like, how are you doing this? Yeah. How are you saying it so I so like I see it, but you don't? That's yeah. amazing to me. <laughs> yeah, that's part of the scheme. It really is. But like it it just uh it's it's uh God, it's just like it's like art form. It's hard to listen to. And there's still so many. That's what I, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's still it's still a very real thing. And like, I hear people discuss it. Like, there was this video that went viral like ugh, months ago that was like someone on Twitch just <laughs> describing their company. And then everyone was like, "You're describing a pyramid scheme." <laughs> and he's like, "No, I'm not." And he definitely was. And I was just like, "Dude, this is crazy." Okay. He made one and didn't even know it. Yeah. <laughs> like, like that's amazing. Guys, open your eyes. <laughs> yeah. They could be everywhere. Even in your mirror. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, last one. Boob sweat. Oh my God, it's so fucking real. Guys, girls, everybody, boys. Everybody. It's just, it's a thing. Yeah. It's it happens. Hot. It's you got you got folds and flaps on your body and you know they accumulate humidity. Yeah, I wouldn't even consider it just to the boob. No. I would say just any layer of flap fold or thing body that you, sweat. You got hidden. It's a uh, it's a thing. For me, it's always just it's always just right in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they should make they should make okay you know those um like chamois that like <laughs> don't don't please no. don't please don't I don't know why they don't why don't they make underwear out of those little chamois that like divers use to dry themselves off when they get out of the water 
That's genius. No, I want I because I get crotch sweat on flights so often, even if I'm freezing cold, because I like cross my legs to stay warm, and then I stand up and I'm like, did I piss myself? What just happened? It's like, no, I've created a cavernous area of humidity in my body. Yeah. But if I had a chamois panty, <laughs> chamois panty, <laughs> I'd be safe. Could you imagine? I'm taking this to fucking Shark Tank, and you cannot stop me. None of you can stop me. Dear Sharks, uh, I'm asking for 10% uh, initial startup uh, for the chamois panty. Now, have any of you, just out of curiosity, right now, who here has swamp ass? Yeah. (laughs) Who here wishes there was a shamwow just shoved right up in there? Yeah, just right up in there. (laughs) With consent. (laughs) Oh, man. They come in four colors. They're all neon. Oh, God. I know. <laughs> They're and, just, I just imagine a pair of normal underwear that you've stitched a sham wow to. Yeah. And that's like folded twice. It's just Velcroed on top of underwear. Yeah. <laughs> Velcroed. Yeah. So you I, can, it's a quick change. A tidy whitey chamois. This is basically becoming a diaper. Ooh, yeah, it is. <laughs> but like a fashion diaper. A diaper not for your excrement, but for your sweat. Yeah, don't piss in it. <laughs> it's not made for that. Let's be very clear. This is not for piss or shit. Okay? Yeah, if you're going to drive across country to kill somebody, don't wear these. No, get the pens. You got to get the pens. Yeah, these you can also <laughs> depend on. Wow. I feel cleansed. I do. That we really got a lot off our chests and a lot of opinions that, you know, got unearthed that I didn't know that I had. I feel good. This I is feel always good. therapeutic. We I hope you guys enjoyed this. Some classic clean cut rants. Yeah. Back to what we do best. I wouldn't say if it's what no, we do best. This is maybe like on like number 13 <laughs> of like things I'm okay at. Yeah, I was going to say like our skills, <laughs> there are other places, <laughs> yeah. but this is what for some reason people like. Uh, Mitchell, where can people find you and everything you're up to? Um, my website, cdmog.com. You can watch me on YouTube at livelavalive.tv. Sweet. You also have some really cool designs out right now uh yeah uh uh represent.com slash wavy dash yeah it's they're my... really awesome you guys should check them out thank you yeah. uh yeah yeah it's my clothing line it's not merch it's not anything like that it's just strictly i just wanted to make fashion i yeah. just want to make clothes they're great highly highly recommend yeah i got new this ones coming out soon coming from the girl in just a plain maroon sweatshirt <laughs> she got off of amazon I know, that's why i was like fashion from grace what grace you and style what's I happening great taste <laughs> uh mitchell thank you so much thank you um and till next time till the next rants we'll see you guys on another episode of not too deep goodbye too deep too deep too deep not too not deep too with grace helbig Whatever struggles you're facing, depression, anxiety, trauma, grief, BetterHelp can connect you with a professional counselor in a safe and private online environment. It's convenient. You can schedule secure video or phone sessions, as well as chat and text with your therapist. And anything you share is completely confidential. And best of all, it's affordable. And you'll get 10% off your first month with the discount code GRACE. So get started by going to betterhelp.com grace. Fill out a questionnaire and get matched with a counselor that you'll love today. Not Too Deep is a production of Grace Helbig Incorporated, producer Melissa D. Montz, writing by Diane Kang, production assistance by Katrina Henning, post-production sound by Chris Henry, and an extra special thanks to Flula for the theme music. (laughs) 